Hey guys, we're gonna go and pick up the Porsche. It's been at Trax, uh, Trax Customs for like a few weeks now. Um, quite a bit of change in plans, unfortunately, for some of it, probably fortunately in other regards, just for certain longevity things. Um, but yeah, we'll go over all the details, show you the car, and let's, uh, got the hiccup, sorry. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so we're here to pick up the car. We're gonna check it out. We'll do a walk around, and then I gotta drive this thing home. Start on the back, check this out. Got the bumper from Precision Porsche, GT style. New upright and wing, way cleaner. No more bumperettes on this thing either. It's all flush, super clean. Gonna leave the ex exhaust real thin right now. I'm gonna leave the tips off until we find something that works better. And then, you got a little bit of the vents through the rear. Looks pretty sick. It's a little dark out, but we'll get it in the garage here soon. And then lastly, we got the front end. Boom! That looks so sick. I'm super pumped on this. Here's the front end. Again, Precision Porsche. Tony down there. Hooked it up, super good fitment. Got the vent, a little grill, smile grill, whatever you want to call it. And we've got uh, the third center mounted radiator is in here as well, tucked in. Pretty clean setup so far, so. Big wing gang, what's up? We'll go ahead and get some better uh, shots of this thing as we get it settled in i will be getting different wheels and stuff to have better clearance and i need to get the car washed up and cleaned up all right so we got the car back we're home let's go ahead and take a look around it we'll go over kind of what's been done to it which isn't a crazy amount of stuff but it's significant so without further ado here's the 987 so let's touch on some of the stuff now that we got a little bit of light in here we've got the porsche or precision porsche did the front bumper to the 991 uh conversion that fits onto the 987 chassis with the 991 turn signals there um overall the bumper fits like insanely well uh there's some um, inconsistencies that are i guess brought to light with this bumper with my stock hood uh for the most part let's check it out tracks customs did all the work in meridian idaho and given what they had to work with i think there's some torqued areas of my oem hood and or the front uh, right fender here because we had to do a little bit of finagling which didn't look square on the body, uh, OEM body setup, not this bumper, but this bumper here or the fender. So uh, they were able to make it fit super well considering what, we, what they had to work with. So shout out to them, thank you so much. Um, you can see a little bit, fitment looks nice and consistent across the entire lines, which is so sick. Um, the only area that I saw from the hood, the hood has a slight dip in it and it's like right here. And I don't know if it's from the weight of something being pushed on the hood, something over the years, I might try and adjust it a little bit, just rise it up just a touch if it's possible. But uh, yeah, bumper from Precision Porsche and the fitment from Trax Customs in Meridian, Idaho. Superb, like amazing. They did the paint, got it all fitted up and we're gonna lower the car uh, once I get a different wheel set up with a different offset. So um, it's not gonna be crazy lower, but we're coming down for sure, especially on the front. I wanna bring this thing down another probably inch or so, uh, maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch just to have it really sit nice and flush. Got the Maxton side splitters. Those have been on the car, keeping that consistent. The other biggest attribute that we changed was the front third mount radiator. So that 
is now mounted on. So we've got three radiators, one on each side, and then now the center mount, which is cool, setting this thing up for ultimate cooling. Forgot the extended or uh, deep oil pan as well under the car, which you guys know from previous videos. So check that out if you want to. We've got a full turbo kit in here, just uh, waiting. It's a little bit over my head in the shop here. Uh, they could probably, they could put it on for sure, but um, there's just not enough new components in it to really be 100% about putting it on the car. So I told him to hold off for now. So I might be selling that kit and doing something else. I've been having my eyes on the MRN twin turbo kit, net new, instead of going to used route like I did, just have something that's completely new so I don't have to really worry about the car as much. So that may happen as well. And then what else we did was the rear bumper. So, and uh, the uprights and the wings. So uh, also from Precision Porsche. Uh, and Fat Nguyen, if you follow him on Instagram, he's got a 987 with the same wing. I uh, liked it a lot, so I asked him where he got it. So he got you know, all the info needed, got that thing sent out. And then the rear bumper, which is quite a bit different than the OEM one. And I'll show you kind of what that looks like. All right, so from a profile perspective, this bumper is actually quite a bit lower than the OEM bumper. Um, fitment was, again, Excellent precision Porsche, awesome work. Um, and this one has side vents like the GT style. So if you look on the rear of the bumper, you've got actual active side scoops, help bring some air into the rear of the car. I believe it's for brake cooling and or air pass through, I'm not sure, but you guys can comment below if you know. And then on the rear, no more bumperettes. Uh, in the U.S., we have bumperettes for safety stuff. I don't like them. They look kind of uh, kind of just frumpy, so taking those off makes it look a lot cleaner. And then on the pipes, we just have the Top Gear exhaust. I left the tips off for now because, honestly, I don't know. I just kind of like the way it looks. <laughs> just the, the smaller, subtle tips. I might change that, but the tips are on my workbench. Uh, but, yeah. Gives you a little bit of a perspective of what the rear end looks like. It's quite aggressive. And uh, I think it looks really good for 987 body lines and kind of updates everything while still being consistent with the design of the car. Let me know what you guys think. And the wing, yeah, it's definitely taller. So it's a lot bigger than the other wing that I had on there. So like it or not, I like the big wing stuff. It's kind of cool. Looks like a GT style setup. It's paint matched as well. And again, we do want to lower the car a little bit, bring it down, but there she is. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. We're gonna do more videos in the daylight. This one's literally just to, I guess, kind of wet, wet your whistle, see what she's looking like. But uh, I think it looks exceptional. And I'm really happy with the product that we got in the shop in Meridian. So out in Idaho, hard to find a place that does custom auto work in Idaho for body fitment and or engine mods, especially on a Porsche. So stoked how it came out. So thanks for watching, you guys. Just a quick update video. I like to get, like to keep you guys informed as we kind of make the little adjustments to the car as time goes on. This thing is like turning out to be the never ending project, which is fine. I'm getting it closer and closer to like my ideal vision. Uh, power is gonna be a big thing that I wanna tackle. Ultimately, of course, the turbo kit was gonna be the route to explore on that, but I wanna go uh, a little bit more of a secure route. Even if we go force induction, just something with a brand new uh, bolt-on setup that I don't have to do any guessing or compromise the integrity of the car any more than it already would with force induction. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up. I've got another set of wheels coming, like I said, so we can tuck everything in on the car a little bit more. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the look of the car, if you like it. Again, if you're wanting one for your 987, it drastically improves the look in my opinion. It's the 991 Precision Porsche setup. You can find the guy's contact on 
Facebook or Instagram, just DM him, tell me you want the same setup that Shelby has, and uh, he can help you out. Third radiator kit, probably not gonna notice much of that until we really start putting power on this thing or start doing a track day, and uh, we'll go from there. But all in all, pretty stoked on it. Let me know what you guys think. We're gonna do the build videos as often as I add stuff to it, and hopefully this thing will be a continuation of, I guess, what I envision in my mind. So it's pretty fun. Enjoy, guys.